Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty-eight in chapter twenty-five. Chapter twenty-five is electrical current and resistance, right? There we have a resistor. At its initial temperature twenty centigrade, degree, the resistance R naught is twelve ohms. And the final temperature we don't know when. We need to find it, right? And the, we know the resistance becomes one hundred forty ohms. And there, we need to consider the resistivity changes with temperature. This is a constant, right? This is a coefficient for this resistivity alpha. And also, we need to consider the uh, wires just uh, has the thermal expansion. The thermal expansion coefficient, alpha t, is there. That means when the temperature increases, right, the length of the wire will increase. The diameter of the wire will also increase. This is how things work. It becomes one step further than the typical problems. Just consider the coefficient for the resistivity. Agree? Now we can see we can consider the initial resistance R naught. Right, initial resistance R naught must equal to rho naught times L naught divided by A naught. Right, and there we consider the diameters. Okay, so the diameters we can replace A naught as the pi diameter d naught square over two, and then can be write in this way. Do you agree? This is initial resistance, and then we look at the final resistance as we talk about. Final resistance is rho L over A, right? And this A can be write as pi d square over four, so it looks like this one. But in this term, you can see the rho resistivity. We need to consider the changes with temperature in this function, right? And also the two as we need to consider thermal expansion. That means L changes with temperature in this function. This is alpha t, the expansion thermal expansion coefficient. And the D also changes with thermal expansion alpha t there, right? Now we input rho L D in this function. So this one inside, this L inside, and this D inside because all of them changes with temperature. So we put all of them inside. You can see it look like this one, and uh, simplify it. It looks like this one, right? And then we can see for L naught. Divided by pi d square times rho naught. What's this term for? Can be replaced by the r naught at zero. Do you agree? Yes. Now from this function, you can see r equal to r. This term, we can solve the function for temperature t equal to this function, right? Input all the given quantities. You can get the temperature as two thousand four hundred degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. The part one is solved. Part b. Ask you in this temperature range, what is the percentage change in resistance due to thermal expansion, and what is the percentage change in the in the resistance due to the uh, resistivity change? So we can see how can we do that. As we talk about at the final resistance, the rho resistivity changes with temperature, L changes with temperature, the D changes with temperature, right? Yes. And then the T equal to two thousand four hundred degrees Celsius from part A. We need to determine the percentage of the thermal change. If we only consider the thermal expansion, that means that we consider the rho will not change. Do you agree? Rho resistivity is a constant. It equal to the initial rho naught, right? So that means at the final, this is just the rho naught. And the L changes with the temperature, D changes with temperature, right? And then in this one, we input it inside this function. We can see rho naught, rho naught cancels, four four cancels, pi pi cancels. It get this term. From this term, we can see we can input L and D in this function, and then finally we have this left this term. And in this term, we can input all the given quantities like alpha T and this temperature T. And the T naught get the answer there, so you can see the final resistance just equal to zero point nine eight of the initial, uh, resistance R naught. So we can get the percentage percentile change at zero. Mm -hmm. 
The next one we consider the resistivity change. If we consider resistivity change, so that means we don't consider thermal expansion, right? So that means the L and the D will not change. The only quantity changes is just the rho, right? So that means we can look at this term, the R, just the rho changes. L length will not change, D will not change, just L naught, D naught. So we input the initial R naught as zero. This term, this term cancels. So we just have this term, right? The ratio for this term is so easy. We look at this function, it is this one, right? Now input all the given quantities, we get the answer zero. So now very easily we can get the percentile change at zero. Thank you.